Law enforcement agencies from across Texas and Kendall County today to honor Deputy Carlos Ramirez. He was killed in the line of duty last week during a traffic stop. Some strong emotional words spoken about Ramirez during his funeral at Oak Hills Church in Bernie today following a procession from Comfort High School. Jeffany Gray attended that service and shares how this loss has brought agencies and a community together for support. We're just so sad of what happened. A procession and funeral dedicated to fallen Kendall County Sheriff's Deputy Carlos Ramirez, united agencies and communities from all over. Just a community, not just here, but I mean, it gives me chills everywhere, you know, Austin, Waco, Waco, El Paso, everywhere. It's just amazing. It's, it's just it's beautiful. Civilians dressed in red, white and blue at the family's request were among hundreds of servicemen, some complete strangers, but connected by the badge. We always love our brothers and sisters and we always look out for them. And it, it's a brotherhood and fraternity. You're never going to be alone. Ramirez killed by a truck while conducting a traffic stop on I-10 impacted this veteran all the way from League City Police Department. I think it makes everybody sad and it makes you value every day at home with your families and how dangerous our jobs really are. He was loved, very well loved. Ramirez is leaving behind his wife and two children. His legacy of service to others lives on like the nickname he earned, Smiley. The neat thing about his character was that even in time of criticism on his part, when people might be egging him on about whatever, he would just sit there and take it and not have any response back and just have that big old smile on his face. Sheriff Carlos Ramirez is 1042. Now, <laughs> with a vow to always honor Ramirez, the Kendall County Sheriff's Department says his family will be taken care of. We will be there for her in the coming days and weeks and months ahead. Deputy Carlos Smiley Ramirez will officially be laid to rest in El Paso at the Fort Bliss National Cemetery, July 16th. Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News.